All right, today I'm going to show you how to group both rows and columns in Google Sheets. So you may have seen this in another project, maybe you have it in some of your projects, and you want to know a little more how this works, how to do this. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in. So I'm going to go ahead and delete a group here. I'm going to delete these column groupings, and I'm going to walk you through how to do these. So just the very, very basics I'm going to show you real quick. So if you just select some rows here, right click and group rows, it's going to create a little group there. So this isn't super useful because we're not grouping under something. And so what I like to do is to group under a header. And so um, for rows, for example, I might group under a month. So I'm just going to select all the ones that have to do with that month. And I'm just clicking and dragging here. And then I'm going to do group rows. And so one thing you'll notice is when I did my selection, I started right under that um, header row. And just like that. So one thing to keep in mind, and I'm going to show you up here, is you can also select which way you want that to go. So this is going to be a little more intuitive if I do these groups um, and columns. So I selected these columns here, and I'm going to do the same thing. A few more actions and group. Now, one thing I can do, if I right click here, is I can move this button to the right. And so, again, in this situation, it's not intuitive. Um, but there's our projects where this makes more sense to go um, this way instead of this way. And the same thing can happen with your rows as well. One thing to keep in mind is if you do change that, it's going to change it across all your groups. Um, and so if you try to do some more groups here, for example, and group these, it's going to do the same way. So now if we move this to the left, you can see it's doing for all the groups. So you can't mix and match this and do it uh, willy-nilly, um, but that's just a helpful thing to know. So add that last column grouping there, and then we can just simply collapse these just like that and pull it together. So that's super handy. Another thing you can do as well, and maybe you've seen this, is you can actually do a group within a group. And so we can go ahead and group these, and now you can see we have multiple groups. So this can be handy if you have multi-layered data and you want to be able to collapse it and kind of parse through it more quickly in that way. So that's the basics there. That should get you going for sure. And if you play around with it, you're going to find out some more stuff. Um, but I just want to kind of give you guys a quick brief overview of how to do these. So that way you can get started using them in your own projects. So make sure to check out our other videos on both Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you do not miss any of our future videos. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon.